What's up everybody? So in this video, we're gonna be looking at the first portrait shoot that I ever did with the Mamiya C330. So for this uh, portrait shoot, I was using the Mamiya C330 and uh, some Fuji Pro 400H. I was doing this shoot with a friend of mine, Jess, and it was just casual, uh, just hanging out, taking some photos and nothing too, too serious. So this is my first time ever using the Mamiya C330 for a portrait shoot. And it's also my first time ever using a waist level finder for a portrait shoot as well. Um, it had a few little challenges to start off with. It's sort of awkward getting used to that opposite sort of movement that you have from looking through the mirror. But after a while, I really came to enjoy it. And I think it's a fun way to shoot. So to start the shoot off, we went to a sort of grassy treed area with lots of green. I've been here before for another shoot and I really enjoy it. I think it's got a lot of nice green. There's a lot of sort of fallen trees and things to interact with. And you get some really nice sort of specular highlights and things going on from the trees and the sunlight behind you. I think it's a really nice spot for portraits um, and a great spot to shoot uh, Pro 400H. So after shooting at this first spot, we then went to a basketball court just down the road from my house. Um, I'd been there before to do some photos and I quite liked it. Again, it was sort of nice and green, which was good for the um, for the Pro 400H. And then it was also sort of pretty well shaded um, and just a few different things to interact with between the actual uh, pole for the hoop and then the bench that was just there as well. After we did the photos at the basketball court, we just went down the road uh, two minutes to a sort of uh, beach path, walkway, sort of hiking trail thing. Um, and then we just did some photos on the side of there.
towards the end of the role, I wanted to experiment with a bit of, you know, movement. So I got Jess to sort of run and sort of turn around and jump and do things. And when she was doing that, I sort of had the shutter speed at 1 30th, 1 15th of a second, um, and then sort of shut down the lens. So I got a bit more depth of field. So the images were just sort of a little bit blurry, but it was sort of a look I was going for, just more of like a fun sort of playful, uh, style image. Um, I don't think they turned out that good, but it's always fun to experiment when you have the time and, and you have a few shots left on the roll. So overall, I'm very happy with the results from this photo shoot. Um, my favorites were from the first spot where we went. Um, I think that was just the perfect lighting and color and everything worked out really well at that spot. Um, I'm really happy with using the Mamiya for the portraits. Um, I like how easy it is to get down low for some of those lower shots. Um, and I also really like the lens. I think it has a really nice character to it. It's, you know, sharp, it looks nice. The 2.8 gives a lot of bokeh. And I really like the way it renders the bokeh. It sort of almost has a little bit of a swirling effect to it. Um, it has sort of that, you know, nice vintage uh, TLR sort of look. Um, and I'm just really overall happy with it. I think it's a quite an interesting look and I think it really adds to the images. It's nice. The shots on the hiking path are sort of wasn't the happiest with and I often find that when I shoot in sort of that open sky at around sunset time um, I never really like the look of Pro 400H. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the scanner that the lab uses or if it's just the way I'm processing it in Lightroom after the fact. It's just something about it. It always has this sort of bluey red sort of it just doesn't quite do it for me. Um, I love it in those sort of shaded, nice green, strong lights, really overexposed um, sort of shots. But with these ones, I don't know what it is. It just, for me, it just doesn't quite work. I don't love the colors and the way it renders. I just prefer sort of Kodak for those shots. When shooting with this Mamiya, I did find the one uh, spot where it held me up was the focusing. Um, I missed focus a couple of times. I think I just needed to slow down a little bit. Um, really just get in there and make sure I was nailing it. I think when the sunlight's hitting the side and of your eye and you're looking through the, um, the waist level finder, I find sometimes it's just a little bit hard to see. But you know, it's not the end of the world. I sort of miss shots with, you know, any camera. It happens from time to time. Um, so that's just one thing I gotta work on when using this camera. Anyway, so uh, let me know which were your favorite shots. Comment down below. Um, if you found this video interesting, uh, please give it a like um, and consider subscribing. It would really help the channel out. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.